In this topic, I'm going to be showing you lots and lots of things about one of my favorite subjects, which is astrophysics. So this right here um, is the study of not only the stars and space, but also the physics behind these processes. So, um, I mean, some people call it astronomy, but I think it's better to call it astrophysics, because we really will be learning some of these physical processes. Now, when I told my friends that I was studying astrophysics, some people thought, Oh, awesome, I'm Gemini. Can you tell me what uh, my horoscope will be? Now, that's astrology, not astronomy. Uh, although they sound similar in name, they're certainly different in what we do. So here what we do is we try to take all the scientific evidence and try to understand what happens in the world around us. So the very first thing I want to talk about is our place in space. So this would be something, uh, just a, a quick introduction to astrophysics. So we're going to talk about our solar system and a little bit beyond. Now I like this little, uh, well, this is a little song. Uh, so twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Now I think you'd probably be glad that I didn't try to sing it to you. There's a reason why I'm not a singer. But what we're going to do then is try to answer some of these, well, at least this question right here, what is a star? So how I wonder what you are. We're actually going to try to answer this. So one thing that I love about astronomy and astrophysics is that it's really for everyone. I mean, anyone can look up at the night sky and appreciate what there is. So I'm going to show you a quick little video. And uh, this video is actually a time lapse. So what someone has done is they've taken lots and lots of different pictures of the sky. So this is not in real time, this is sort of sped up. So you can see there's a nice tree here um, to the upper left. And then we have some mountains in the background. And we have the stars. Do you notice what the stars appear to do? Right? The stars appear to actually rotate. So I think this is really, really interesting. Okay, so this is the first thing I want to talk about. Uh, but actually, when I look at this uh, picture right here, I think of a lot of different things. But uh, that's at least the first thing we can talk about is here's the screenshot of that video. And so uh, maybe we can talk a little bit about the fact that these things appear to rotate. So that's maybe the first question. Now, <laughs> I thought it'd be fun to give a little question like this. So why should we all be throwing up right now? Now, uh, first of all, that's because we are rotating. Okay, so I think that's the first thing is that, uh, let's see here, let's write like this. So we live on a planet. Now that's uh, actually where we're sitting. Uh, this is, of course, not to insult your intelligence, but I figure we may as well start from sort of the ground up. So we live on a planet, uh, which is called Earth, by the way. Um, most people know this, but it rotates. So we're going to write this down here. So which rotates on its own axis uh, and what I mean by that is this. So we're, let's say this right here is the Earth here. There's my attempt to draw a sphere. And here I am, maybe I'm sitting right over here on the Earth here. Whoops, so there I am, I'm standing on the Earth. And the Earth actually rotates. Now the thing is we have lots of different stars that are actually out in the background. Okay, so there's lots of stars that we can actually see. Now those stars, the vast majority of them, stay relatively fixed. I mean some of them do actually move, but it's over a very, very long time scale and they're very, very small movements. So for the most part, these stars appear fixed. And what happens then, of course, is that our own planet, it rotates. Because okay, so the Earth actually sort of rotates around. So as the Earth sort of rotates, now it all depends on which way you define as the way, direction that it rotates, but if this here is north, then it rotates like this. And so that means if this is east, and this is uh, west, and this is north, and this is south, then the stars appear to rise from the east, and they appear to set in the west. Okay, so the first reason then why we should feel like we're all throwing up, well, it's because we live on a planet which rotates on its own axis. And I'll say uh, once every because it's important to know this time frame. So it actually rotates, and it takes it 24 hours to rotate around once around its own axis. 
Now to show you this, uh, or maybe a little bit clearer what's happening, uh, I'm going to use a program called Stellarium. So this is a free program, and I think this is pretty cool. Um, what this is allowing me to do then is to simulate what I actually would see. So you see I can actually look around, and uh, I've got it set to the right place, the Copenhagen University Observatory. We're only 10 meters above the sea level, so we're not exactly very high up. And the field of view that I'm looking at here, this is uh, 60 degrees. And so what we're going to do then is uh, speed up the time. So if you look at the bottom right down here, you can see the time speeding up here. So what I'm going to do is speed up the time a little bit, and you should be able to see some exciting things happening. Now this is what would happen if you're very patient and you looked up at the stars. Now clearly when you actually look up at the stars, keep in mind things aren't labeled for you. Right? So maybe you don't see the lines for the constellations, and maybe you don't see the nebulas. And so this is more like what it looks like. But of course it's maybe fun to have things labeled for us, just to, so we can see sort of where things are. Maybe we can label the planets. And so what happens then is, as we go forward in time, you can see that um, everything sort of seems to rise from the east, and as I turn to the right, you'll see it seems to sort of set in the west. Now these stars are actually staying still. It's actually the Earth that's rotating. So can you look at these and sort of imagine that we're the ones that are moving? Because that's actually what's happening. Now a long time ago, of course, people thought that it was actually the stars that were rotating around us and we were staying still. You can't necessarily blame the people who thought that because it certainly appears that way. But actually that's not the case. Okay, we're actually rotating. And so the stars which are actually relatively still compared to us, they're actually the ones that are rotating. Okay, so that's the first thing I think that's important to talk about. But on top of that, okay, so not only are we rotating our own, on our own axis, right, and that's why we're living on this planet called Earth, so it rotates, but we're also doing something else. So maybe I'll write that down. So, But we also orbit the sun. So we have a star called the sun. Um, and of course, we're orbiting the sun along with other planets, of course. Oops, I'm trying to write here, with other planets. So we're not the only planet. And we rotate, uh, we orbit the sun along with other planets. And it takes us, uh, well, if we considered one day is 24 hours, in other words, one full rotation, turns out it takes us around 365 days to orbit the sun. So here what's happening then is, let's maybe draw the sun in yellow. So maybe that's not very clear here, but there's the sun. Maybe I'll outline it in some black here. So this, there's the sun. And what's happening then is that we are rotating. So when I drew the Earth as a uh, green circle, well then I'll do that too. So this is the Earth. And of course if we look at our uh, sort of top view or sort of a side type view, we do some sort of orbit like this. So we go around and around and around. Now it takes us 365 days to do this. Now keep in mind on top of that we're also rotating on our own axis. So we're rotating this way and we're going around. This is why I think we should be throwing up, right? There's lots and lots of motion going on. And on top of that, the way that we rotate isn't exactly fixed. Um, our axis of rotation is actually tipped. So it's tipped here at an angle. And that actually accounts for the seasons. So it turns out, if you look over here, if you live in the northern hemisphere, assuming this is north, then you're going to get more sun. Um, so that means then that this right here is going to probably be summertime. And over here, you're going to get you know the least amount of sun uh, as you rotate around. So of course, those are when the days are shortest. Um, and of course, if you're in the southern hemisphere, things are the opposite. But the key thing is that we actually rotate, uh, well, sorry, we not only rotate around our own axis, but we also orbit the sun as we go around. So that takes us around 365 days to orbit.